Hi again. I have some uh, wrought iron here. Some of this may be steel, and some of it's definitely wrought iron. Uh, I got this as a gift from uh, one of my friend's dad, who had actually uh, he dismantled an old building on his property, <laughs> and it had a lot of these old steel things. As you can see, some of this is uh, is uh, spikes and. Uh, bands to keep together construction and other things are more like pieces of a chain this could be from a boat or it could be from a building of some kind and a handle and some other things as you can see here this is a mix of things and some of this could be steel and some of it could be wrought iron that puddle iron which is low quality which would be uh, well unsuitable to try to recreate uh, historical uh, armor pieces or whatever whatever anyway uh, and some of it could be uh, bloomy iron or charcoal iron the first test to do the, here is to see if it's got layers and as you can see what you usually do is you cut halfway through and then you bend it and it just breaks and you can see if it's got layers but this is already done on this piece and if you can see this really here I'll we'll try getting some more Oh, that didn't work. But maybe you can see this, that, that it's sort of lay. Yeah, you can see it here, maybe. It's got layers in there. You can see it's flakes, sort of flakes in layers. So this one is definitely some kind of iron, not steel. And these parts, as you can see over here, these might be steel, or it could be that these are puddle iron. Because usually you can also see it on the way it's been constructed. You can see here, if it's got sharp corners, as you can see this one, it's got sharp corners, and I have that one. That thing is usually, and a rough texture is usually, not always, but usually, it's uh, rather old. And could be the old style uh, way they made iron, uh, the classic way to make iron. And there's all other tests as well that you can do, but this one is fairly likely to be charcoal iron at least it's high possibility, I'll check it. If you if you grind this and it has got really red sparks, then it's not. It's puddle iron. I, I, I'll tell you later the difference between these two, but you can also check it out on the web. Um, anyway, the ones that I'm hoping for to be to be charcoal iron is that part, and we'll see all the parts to the right side here. This I found to be real soft. I thought it was maybe steel. It could be steel, it could be mild steel, or it could be iron. Um, anyway, these are the parts. If it's really, you know, rounded and finer, like this, it's usually made in a later era, maybe, maybe 1900s, late 1900s, something like that, or maybe early 20th century, actually. And... Uh, about 1973 they stopped making iron but they switched to a cheaper kind of, of wrought iron and I don't want that, I want the old type so hopefully this is the old type and this, these are new types so these, if these have red sparks and these don't they got yellowish sparks more like that and also if the bend test works like they get this texture that this one already has here so this is bent off already you can try it to be bent off the building <laughs> already uh, let's see, this is probably part of construction steel. This could be also, or could also be uh, the wrong type of iron. Uh, as you see, this has flakes as well. This is probably, probably also some type of wrought iron. This maybe might steel or fine wrought iron. Let's see. But at least I have something here, and the idea is that if this is turns out to be the right type of material, if this is charcoal iron, if anything of this is charcoal iron, I can make some, some male rings, for instance, in the proper material for medieval or Viking age, and um, um, to get it ultra-authentic. Okay, so that's it for today.